Welcome back everyone. In this lecture, we will learn about uh, periodic noise reduction by frequency domain filtering. In that, uh, we will uh, learn about uh, band reject filter, band pass filter and notch filter. In previous model, we discussed uh, about low pass and high pass frequency domain filters as uh, fundamental tools for image enhancement. In this section, uh, we will discuss more specialized band reject, band pass and notch filters as tools for periodic noise reduction removal. The band reject filters uh, essentially remove or attenuate a band of frequencies about the origin of the Fourier transform. Similar to those LPFs and HVFs that we studied in, uh, in the previous section, we can construct ideal or Butterworth or Gaussian band reject filters as you can see here uh, given by these uh, equations so so they reject a particular band and they will allow all other frequencies to pass through okay. so that is uh, uh, the functioning of band reject filter so this figure gives the 3d representation for uh, band reject filters the first one is the ideal band reject filter second one is the butterworth uh, band reject filter of order one and third one is the Gaussian band reject filter. So in a sense, uh, we use these filters to eliminate frequency components in some bands. Let us now see one example of uh, application of band reject filters. So uh, this figure shows an image heavily corrupted by sinusoidal noise of uh, various frequencies. The noise uh, components uh, can be easily seen as symmetric pair of bright dots in the Fourier spectrum as shown in this uh, DFT of the image. So in this example, the components lie on an approximate circle about the origin of the spectrum. So a circularly symmetric band reject filter of order 4 uh, is a good choice. And uh, since it is desirable to remove as little as possible from the transform sharp narrow filters are common in band reject filtering the result of a filtering uh, can be seen here this is the restored image and this is the noisy image which is a uh, this is the noise part which we have removed successfully from the image the improvement is quite evident even small details and textures were restored effectively by this uh, simple filtering approach. It is worth noting that uh, it would not be possible to get equivalent results by a direct spatial domain filtering approach using small convolution mass. Next type of filter is the notch reject filters. So essentially a notch filter rejects or passes frequencies in a predefined neighborhoods about a center frequency. And due to the symmetry of the Fourier transform, notch filters must appear in a symmetric pairs about the origin, except the one at the origin. So this is the three-dimensional plot for uh, notch reject filters. You can see they appear in symmetric pairs about the origin. So this is the ideal case, uh, Butterworth and the Gaussian notch reject filters. So uh, this is the ideal notch filter and you can see uh, the output is zero for a predefined neighborhood given by this condition so which is illustrated uh, here in 3D plot. Okay, So low amplitude means that part will be rejected and it will be high otherwise. And similarly we have a Butterworth notch filter and you can see uh, the difference in the shape transition. So in ideal case, it is abrupt as we have studied earlier. Ideal case is uh, transition is uh, abrupt from 0 to 1. So here it's a, a smooth transition from low to high. And similarly, we can have a Gaussian notch filter. Again, it is smooth transition from low to high given by uh, this equation. So it rejects a particular uh, uh, frequency or frequencies in particular neighborhood and allows all other frequencies. 
similar to the band pass or band reject filters that we have studied the notch reject filter can also be turned into a notch pass filter uh, by using the relation h of uh, notch pass of uv is equal to 1 minus notch reject of u comma v where h of np is the transfer function of the notch pass filter and h n r of uv is the corresponding notch reject filter and if we set uh, u naught and v naught equal to zero the notch reject filter becomes a high pass filter and the notch pass filter becomes a low pass filter let us see one example for uh, filtering using notch filter uh, this image we have already seen in uh, module 2 uh, when we studied about uh, gaussian low pass filters so how to uh, eliminate this kind of noise so unless blur uh, blurring is uh, desirable for reasons we discussed in that uh, module notch filtering is uh, preferable if uh, uh, if a suitable uh, filter can be found now just by looking at the nearly horizontal lines of a uh, uh, noise pattern in this image we can expect its contribution in the frequency domain uh, to be centered uh, concentrated along the vertical axis okay however the noise is not dominant enough to have a clear pattern along its uh, along this axis as is evident from the spectrum as shown in this uh, figure uh, we can uh, get an idea of what the noise contribution looks like by constructing a simple ideal notch pass filter along the vertical axis of the Fourier spectrum like this okay at the space uh, the spatial representation of the noise pattern uh, is shown in this image okay so the noise pattern corresponds closely to the pattern of uh, uh, input image having thus constructed a suitable notch pass filter that isolates the noise to a reasonable degree we can obtain the corresponding notch reject filter uh, from this okay from this uh, notch pass filter so the result of processing the image with notch reject filter is shown in this image okay so this image contains significantly fewer visible noise scan lines uh, than the input image i'll show you the enhanced version of it or uh, enlarged version of this you can see you can compare the output image and the input image and the output is significantly uh, better okay. we have removed all the horizontal scan lines so this is the application of a notch uh, filter for uh, noise removal the notch filters that we discussed till now may not work in all situations uh, when several interference components are present the normal methods are not always acceptable because they remove too much of uh, image information so uh, what we need to understand here is the interference components generally are not single frequency bursts and these filters that we are going to study are optimum in the sense that uh, they minimize the local variance of the restored image in order to extract the interference noise pattern uh, we can use the notch pass filter so which can do this uh, interactively so n of uv is equal to h notch pass of uv into g of uv and uh, we can express it in spatial domain as uh, eta of x phi is equal to i inverse of h of np uv into g of uv and the image can be restored by f cap of x y is equal to g of x y minus w of x y into eta of x y where uh, this w of x y is a weighting function and to select w of x y so that the various of the estimates f cap of x y is minimized over a specific neighborhood of x y uh, consider a neighborhood of size 2a plus 1 by 2b plus 1 about xy so the local variance of f cap of xy at xy can be estimated by sigma square of xy is equal to 1 by 2a plus 1 uh, 
into 2b plus 1 into summation s equal to minus a to a and uh, summation t equal to minus b to b of f cap of x plus s comma y plus t minus f cap dash of f of uh, x y whole square. So where f cap dash is the average of f cap in the neighborhood it means uh, f cap of dash uh, x y is equal to 1 by 2 a plus 1 into 2 b plus 1 into summation uh, uh, double summation f cap of x plus s comma y plus p and uh, sigma square x uh, is equal to 1 by 2 a plus 1 into 2 b plus 1 into double summation g of uh, x plus s comma y plus t minus w x plus s comma y plus t into eta of x plus s comma y plus t minus uh, g cap of x y minus w of x y into eta of x y whole cap whole equation uh, whole uh, square so whole uh, this square uh, this the flower bracket square assuming that uh, w of x y remains essentially constant over the neighborhood uh, s plus s comma y plus t is equal to w of x comma y for uh, s value lying between minus a to a and uh, t value lying between minus b to b uh, basically this results in uh, w of x comma y into eta of x comma y dash equal to w of x comma y which is basically constant so it won't change into eta dash of x comma y so if you substitute that in the previous equation a sigma square of x y is equal to 1 by 2a plus 1 into 2b plus 1 into double summation of g of x plus s y plus t minus w x comma y into eta of x plus s comma y plus t minus g dash of x comma y minus w x comma y into eta of dash of x comma y whole square to minimize the sigma square x y we can solve uh, like this do sigma square of x y by do w of x y is equal to zero and uh, if you apply in the equation and simplify we will get w of x y is equal to g of x y into eta of x y whole dash minus g dash of x y into eta dash of x y divided by eta square dash of x y minus eta dash square of x y and to obtain the restore image x y we can compute uh, w of x y from this equation and then uh, make use of the first equation as w of x y is assumed to be constant in the neighborhood computing this function for every value of x and y in the image is unnecessary instead w of x y is computed for one point in each non overlapping neighborhood and then used to process all the image points contained in that neighborhood now let us understand the functioning of this optimum notch filter with an example so here is a corrupted image uh, which is basically having a periodic uh, degradation and uh, this image is actually of a martian surface taken by the mariner uh, 6 spacecraft and uh, you can see the interference pattern in the uh, fourier uh, domain uh, if you take the dft this is the result and you can see a lot of uh, star like components and uh, these were caused by the interference and several pairs of uh, components are present here that indicates that the pattern contained more than just one sinusoidal component so one sinusoidal component uh, is not present here there are several sinusoidal components and interference patterns are present now this is the dft of the image and as we know we usually display the shifted version of the dft and this is the shifted version where we have low frequency component in the middle and high frequency components at the edges now if we don't shift the dft this will be the 
result okay so this is how it looks without the dft shift now uh, uh, the original image is of size 512 cross 512 and uh, we consider a neighborhood of uh, a equal to b equal to 15 for uh, filtering as we discussed in the previous uh, derivation part and uh, this is the Fourier spectrum of the entire image. Now we just concentrate on the dots that we see here and uh, uh, we concentrate on the noise part and plot its Fourier uh, spectrum. This is the uh, thing we get. Okay. Now if you take the inverse Fourier transform of this uh, uh, noise spectrum, this is what we get. This is the uh, pattern view in a spatial domain. This noise is embedded in this original image you can observe the pattern here if you uh, pay uh, attention okay now if you remove this noise pattern from this image okay uh, this will be the result this will be the restored image so this is basically uh, how we do how we perform optimum notch filtering so in this lecture we have looked at uh, periodic noise reduction by frequency domain filtering uh, and we learned the concept of band reject filter band pass filter and the notch filter and optimum notch filter so in the next lecture we'll learn about uh, linear position invariant degradation and uh, the estimation of degradation model see you at the next lecture thank you